Well, Lincoln here from Lamfish TV. Down here at a new location, Altona Pier. Never been here before. Gonna give it a shot, hopefully I can pick something up. Not, not too bad of a day today. Down here with the general purpose Shimano Sonic, two to four kilo, CNR 2500 reel, eight pound braid, I think it is, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, and testing out the three inch Slim Swim by Seaman in Calico Candy. See how we go. Love rocking thongs, eh? I think I'm gonna, get, gonna go down to like midway, then start flicking out to the sides. Looks like there's a bit of weed in the water today. So, might make it a bit difficult, but see how we go. Now, when I go to a new location, it's really handy to actually have a look at the map online, go to satellite imagery on Google, and you can see a bit of the, the deeper water and the patch weed and things like that. So it gives you a bit more of an indication where to start fishing and hopefully it will increase your chances. So I'll start off fishing this side of the pier. I'm just noticing there's quite a bit of breeze, not, not too much, but it's making it a bit difficult to keep contact with the lure really well and to see if the lure is actually getting to the ground. So after this cast, I'm gonna have to nip over to the other side just so I'm casting with the wind, make it a bit easier. Yep, yeah, on. Got a brim. Thought there'd be something hanging around these pylons. Oh, there we go. off it. Saw him follow it up and smash it. Not a massive brim, but half decent. Oh, there we go. Nice brim. A big C. So, a nice 28 centimetre brim. Chuck him back in now. Bye bye. Off he goes. Oh well. The three inch Seaman Slim Swim in Calico Candy works. Normally used a smaller lure than this as well for for brim, so it's actually pretty good. He's, he pretty much came up and smashed that. Just in between, fishing in between all the pylons here like you saw me doing. He just swam straight up and grabbed it. So look, like always guys, make sure after you do catch a fish, check your leader, check your hook. Make sure everything's still good to go for the next fish. This one is all good to go again. I thought he might have rubbed on the pylons when I was having a little fire with him here, but no, nah, all good to go. Well, chuck him back in. So now that I've caught that brim and I've seen a few brim and a couple of pinkies hanging around the pylons, I'm pretty much almost vertical jigging, doing a couple of small winds just so it's coming up the water column, a couple of little little wobbles and flicks up, letting it sink back down with the rod so I've got full contact. And after every couple of them, I'm doing probably half a wind or a wind. So let's see if we can pick one of these things up. There's a snapper down there. So I was going to stick with Calico Candy pretty much all day, but there's a couple of and pinkies that are hanging around the pylons 
and they're not interested anymore in the Calico Candy Slim Swim. So I'm dropping down to the two and a half inch Go To Lure, which is the, the Z-Man Grub. So this one's in amber, so it's no mo motor oil, um, but pretty close to it. Should be able to, to get one of these fish by swapping over. be bothered swapping over to a, a smaller jig head or a lighter, lighter jig head or anything just using 1 8 in a size 1 0 hook and I'm going to chuck some of this stuff on there no they didn't like the curly tail going back to the slim swim Look at me, I'm on my fully sick jet ski, bro. All this water to play in, they still love coming next to the jetties, don't they? Spent about an hour and a half going along the side up to the end, fishing for flathead, so casting straight out. Then I figured out that there were some nice pylons under there. So I started flicking in there and I picked up that brim. And then I noticed that there was a couple of pinkies and a few more brim down there. Swapped lures a couple of times. And then that bloody jet ski came and ruined everything. It was zooming in around the end of the pier within like five meters and like giving it doing 360s going around but so much space out here why do you have to go to the end of the bloody pier to do that pretty sure you're not allowed within 50 meters of a jetty or a pier over five knots anyway bloody annoying shut the fishing down giving up now gonna come back another day because it does look pretty promising I was originally coming down here for a flathead didn't catch any of them and got the brim anyway like, share, subscribe, enjoy. enjoy.